And then just like that, I'm alone again. Uh, last night had a full 10 people in here, including myself. And then another three hammocking down at the hammock site, or tent site, I should say. But rained on and off all night, and it's supposed to be worse today and tomorrow. And I'm stuck here. But interesting thing about the section hikers, they were getting off, and they offered me whatever food they had left. So I will actually show you that. So yeah, apart from my dwindling food supply, uh, ate a few more candy bars than I should have yesterday. Uh, the section hikers uh, getting off here in Waynesboro at Rockfish Gap uh, pretty much forced food on me. I mean, not that they had a lot. They planned pretty ap appropriately. But uh, what little they had, they told me I had to take. So even though they knew I wasn't hiking, even though they knew I was staying here just waiting for my train. So they passed on albacore white tuna in a packet of mayonnaise. Awesome. A turkey pepperoni sliced package. Not opened yet. Oh, that's pretty awesome. A couple packages of Welch's fruit snacks and pretty awesome here. Reese's sticks and a pack of plain M&Ms. As you can see, I already ate those. So uh, that's pretty awesome. A couple extra calories for the next couple days or however long it takes for me to be here. All right. Why would I be here? Why would anyone stay in a shelter? for several days. So why would anyone want to stay in a shelter on the Appalachian Trail for more than one night? Well, I'm not hiking through. I was. I was hiking from Harper's Ferry to uh, Rockfish Gap, which is just north of here. Um, and I finished. I finished early. See, uh, I left Harper's Ferry my third day in. I got a text message saying that I had got a job back in New England. Uh, Providence, Rhode Island, to be exact, uh, house sitting for a month, taking care of a couple dogs and four cats. That's cool, pays money, free rent, you know, go back up. Uh, next day, I hitchhiked into Front Royal, got online, ordered myself an Amtrak ticket, figured I got all of Shenandoah to hike. You know, let's go enjoy it, I'll take my time, have fun. Well, I took my time. I'm not really good at doing low mileage days, though, so the first couple of days I did 20 miles-ish, maybe a little more, a day, and uh, then I had to force myself to slow down, and I did 11 mile day, you know, spent most of the day at Big Meadow Wayside, doing nothing, laying in the sun, I uh, had a big breakfast, then I had a decent lunch, and just doing 11 miles wasn't cutting it for me, so I put on a few more miles, going through Shenandoah, and then there was a part of Shenandoah, you know, some people may know this, that I didn't want to hike, and so I hitchhiked into Elkton. And I had some really good food there. And it just turns out I got the Waynesboro way ahead of schedule, and my train ticket is not was not for another week by the time I got here. And now it's only you know four more days away or whatever, four or five. But uh, so that's it. I decided instead of hanging out in Waynesboro doing nothing, eating food all the time, I'd come out here. So I got up to Rockfish Gap, hiked out here, and here I am. Several days of Paul Wolf Shelter on the Appalachian Trail. Not hiking. That's pretty much why. I'm just killing time until I can get to my train to get to a job, which pays money and gives me free rent. And that's how I can afford to hike, because that free rent plus the money that I put in my pocket, you know, will pay for some of the next trip. And who knows what the next trip will be. That's it. Living on my road, living out of my backpack on the road, sometimes on the trails, and sometimes in a shelter on the AT for almost a week.